Oh, hi. I'm Tony Armstrong. In these challenging times, a lot of people write to me looking for advice. But don't worry, I'm here to help with an open mind and a thoughtful moustache. Today's letter comes from Vlad P of Moscow, who writes, Dear ABC Comrade, My neighbour and I are having a bit of a tiff at the moment. You see, recently, I've been adding some extensions to my property. The trouble is, the extensions require some of my neighbour's yard, which he's been very reluctant to give to me, no matter how politely I threaten him or his family. Things got extra heated when I accidentally dropped some firecrackers over the fence. But then when I sent 200,000 of my friends to apologise, he cracked the sads. Now the whole neighbourhood has turned on me when all I want is space for a new deck, a veggie patch, and to reign supreme over all capitalist pig whores. Thanks for writing, Vlad. Neighbourly disputes can be tricky. But it sounds like you're being a tad unreasonable. Though it's been historically popular, taking someone's land without asking makes people justifiably annoyed. And always remember, manners go a long way. So next time you want something from a neighbour, instead of threats, try breaking the ice with a nice muffin basket. I reckon chalk this whole thing up as a learning experience. Which reminds me, I think you'll find the correct term nowadays is capitalist pig sex worker. All the best, mate. Tony.